Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video on Pops Productions Tech. Now before I start this video, let me just take this opportunity to wish everyone a very happy new year. Welcome to 2020 guys. Um, I really appreciate your support. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for viewing. I really appreciate your support. And of course, I look forward to your continued support throughout 2020 and all years to come. Okay, so... In today's video, I am going up with another vi uh, jailbreak video um, and it would be on our my iPhone 5 right here. So that's of course for I iOS 10 and um, if you're uh, privileged enough also on your iOS 12 devices, whether it be you have iOS 12.4 with on cover, you can jailbreak as well. Um, there is also jailbreak for 12.4.1 if uncovered, but it's a bit limited. I believe it's to do with, um, I believe it's uh, A11 devices. If I'm incorrect, I'll put the correction on screen. Um, but I still recommend that you guys use Checkerin because, of course, it is what's leading right now in with regards to jailbreak. It's permanent, so I recommend it. But if you do not want to or if you cannot like in my case because my power button isn't working so i am not able to enter dfu so i am now stuck with using uh the normal method the usual method so um so to get this done all you have to do is go on to your browser and you're going to install ios ninja now i have ios ninja as well on my iphone 6 plus here um, very good app I really enjoy it um, we know just something that you have to keep in mind is that sometimes it may be unsigned so as you can see here on the iPhone 6 plus it is currently signed so if anytime you'll be you realize that it's unsigned just be patient it'll be resigned they are continuously working always to ensure that it's always signed so you can see you can keep updated via Twitter and you can see there is jailbreak but let's continue on the iPhone 5 um, so as you know the iPhone 5 uses Helix for jailbreak and of course that's iOS 10. So of course you have to put in your password and now we're going to continue with the installation. Um, also we're going to select install down here and the profile should be installed. Now let me decrease my brightness a bit. Now we head back to our home screen and um you go back over to ios ninja and now you're going to okay now you go over to jailbreak and then over here you will find all the different jailbreak apps so whichever suits you you select it but in our case we'll be using helix um, so let me just select it and now i'm going to select install so select install right here and if you go onto your home screen you should see the installation starting anytime soon now as you can see i have some other apps here those are apps from my previous jailbreak but you can see cdi isn't working because i don't have jailbreak currently but it's installing so now that the installation is complete we're going to open helix and of course you can see untrusted so now we have to go back to settings to trust the enterprise of course that would be found in profiles and device management so you go to settings general and scroll down and you should find that so let me just show you guys that real quick so right now we're on settings you go to general scroll down to profiles and device management and you select the app uh, this is an app that i signed with Reprovision, but this is the app that we're going to use this one so as you can see there helix you're going to select trust and now you're going to back to your home screen and now you're going to open helix because it's trusted so now you're going to tap on kickstart to run your jailbreak now uh, it, your phone may reboot which is normal uh, sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't it happens at different times but uh, as you can see my phone will spring immediately so of course that's successful um, so i'm going to allow it to spring and then immediately afterwards put in my password and then we should have jailbreak 
so just before i continue i have to mention that i had a lot of other jailbreak apps configured previously so as you can see there's a bit of difference after my phone has been restreamed all right so you can see here i have a theme like i said i had uh, some configurations before so everything has been restored you can see CDA here CDA is working so of course first thing that you'd open after your jailbreak is CDA so that you can get your different tweaks done and so here is CDA um, yeah so everything here is done for me and of course remember to get reprovision on iOS 10 to resign your apps you can also install IPAs I have a video of this as well and um, of course on the later iOS versions I believe you would use CDA extender but I believe right now there's an issue with um, Sorix app so for now I don't think they are op operational but reprovision should be available for all the other iOS versions um, yes so I believe that is it for today guys uh, thank you very much for watching and of course to receive more videos from me and to be in the know when I upload a new video be sure to subscribe to my channel hit thumbs up and share the video with others thank you very much for watching have a good one